What's up guys, Chum Q back again with another video for you. Now today we're going to be looking at Poe Dameron's Lego X-Wing. This is set number 75102. Now this set contains 717 pieces. Uh, it's got three minifigures and one BB-8 astromech droid. Alright, so first off let's get a look at the X-Wing fighter pilot build itself. Uh, now, as I said, this comes uh, with 717 pieces. Took me roughly about uh, two to three hours to build. And honestly, I didn't really feel the time go by um, that long. It was actually quite an enjoyable build, especially seeing, uh, you know, the X-Wing coming together. So this design didn't really deviate that much from the original X-Wing um, white and red version. Um, this is more like the uh, sort of Force Awakens version. And I really like um, how they sort of like change the color up a bit. The black and orange is really nice and sexy. And I'm glad they sort of uh, changed uh, the look of the X-Wing for that movie. The X-Wing uh, actually comes with a very nice sort of like cockpit. It's a clear plastic. Um, and these um, sort of like uh, prints on it is actually printed on uh, the piece itself. It's not a sticker. I'm not really a big fan of stickers and I hate applying them on Lego pieces. Next up, you can see that uh, the X-Wing comes with uh, two stud shooters, one on each side. So it's got one there and one here. And it also comes with four spring-loaded shooters, which if you have a look here, these um, sort of red pieces here on both sides of the uh, wings. Um, are the uh, spring-loaded shooters. It's also got a um, sort of like landing gear that you can sort of pop out here from the front and sort of angle it the way you want it to. It just uh, tucks nicely away over there. Um, so if you want to sort of have your X-Wing in flight mode, uh, you can leave it like that. Or if you want to park it down, you can basically get that la landing gear and sit it nicely down just like that. Now the cool thing with this um, sort of build is it's got this mechanism um, right up here in the top um, it's, and it's got some gears um, running through the engine um, side of this area. And if you sort of turn this knob over here, you can see that the X-Wing wings are flapping out and it stays in place. Uh, so it's a really cool sort of design that they've got going on right here. So if you want to go into attack mode, just turn that thing. And if you want to go into sort of like a flight cruising mode, uh, you can switch it off uh, by turning the knob again. Now one thing you'll also notice is that um, it's got these uh, sort of like elastic blue rubber band pieces that sort of um, act as a tension to hold the wings up and down. Um, I'm not really a fan of the color blue that they chose. It probably would have been a lot better if they made it uh, color black or maybe orange, just like the uh, wing tips, uh, just to tie into the whole theme. Now, I really like these sort of like um, purpley sort of jet blaster nozzle pieces that they put here in the back. Uh, it's a really nice touch. It's not really that conspicuous. Now, just that little difference in color just sort of makes it a bit more sort of like pop out when you have a look at it from behind. Now, on the top bit right here, you can actually fit your little uh, BB-8 astromech droid. Uh, it just fits nicely and comfortably up there, just sitting nicely above Poe Dameron's cockpit. Unfortunately, you won't be able to fit an R2 unit minifig on this slot, uh, so it's just really made for the BB-8 astromech droid figure. Now, there are some stickers that you need to apply yourself. Now, if you have a look here, sort of that orange bits over there and that side and part of the engine are stickers that you need to apply. Um, over here, uh, these are stickers. Uh, and just up there as well, there are a bit uh, more stickers to apply. Um, it's not that hard, and it's not that bad to apply, um, but as I said, I'm really a fan of having the design pre-printed on the LEGO piece itself rather than having to apply stickers. Now here is a front view of the X-Wing uh, in flight mode, and let me just turn this around uh, so you can have a look at it sort of on attack mode. Now here is the side view of the X-Wing. Now here's a look at the X-Wing, um, sort of like from the top view. And this is what the X-Wing looks on the under portion of the vehicle. And finally, here we have the X-Wing at the back view. And by turning that knob again, we can have the wings sort of spread open uh, in its attack mode. All right, so looking at the dimensions of this X-Wing, it measures about four inches high, 14 inches from the tip of the X-Wing all the way to the front of the cockpit. Um, and there's another 12 inches if you have a look from where the wingspan, uh, this side to this side. Um, when you open up the X-Wing's uh, wings, there's about a three inch um, sort of like clearance uh, from here. So this is actually quite a big uh, figure. I mean, looking at it, it sort of really covers my whole face, uh, just like a face hugger from the Alien series would. Um, and if you have a look right over here, it's probably spanning the uh, sort of like greater part of my chest. 
All right, guys, so here we have the supply loader vehicle that comes with the uh, X-Wing uh, fighter pilot build. Um, that's the front view of the um, sort of supply loader. It's got these sort of two levers that you can move side to side uh, on these both sides. It's got some orange sort of studs in the front. Um, this is just sort of the area where you can actually put a minifigure to sit down sort of like he was going to be driving this thing around um, onto the back um, let's have a look here actually this piece you can take out uh, if you want to um, but this piece here um, is basically sort of like a holder for just extra studs um, so if you have those uh, flick fire missiles I'm oh, no, sorry those stud shooters um, at the side of the um, uh, X-Wing. Um, these are just extra pieces that you can find and sit nicely inside the supply loader. Uh, it comes with a blaster gun and a wrench on that side. Um, and you can also put back this piece. It doesn't actually fit that well um, and it comes off fairly easily but uh, as long as you don't really touch it that much it should stay upright. Uh, you can also put one of the minifigures up here um, so that when you sort of lean this against your X-Wing um, the minifigure seems as though it was climbing into the X-Wing. Alright guys so the first minifig we'll be looking at is Poe Dameron himself. Um, he's all dressed in orange and he's got some nice sort of printing in the front um, that looks like his sort of jet, uh, jet fighter suit. He comes with a blaster uh, onto the back you can really see that sort of like um, design on the front carry over to the back uh, with a nice belt wrapping around his waist I really really like the helmet that he comes with uh, it's got sort of like that sort of nice yellow um, tint right where his eyes um, are placed uh, this minifig comes with two head prints um, the front and the back um, which you can see once you turn the heads around the next uh, minifig we have here is the Resistance X-Wing Pilot. Uh, same sort of design as Poe Dameron's suit, uh, that orange um, sort of like outer body um, print and the sort of white um, front piece in the back. Uh, the difference with this guy is this has got a, a white helmet uh, instead of Poe Dameron's black helmet. Uh, he doesn't really come with any accessories, uh, but I guess you can give him the other blaster that you saw uh, on the supply um, figure a while ago. All right, so here is the third minifigure that the set comes with. Um, this is the Resistance Ground Crew minifig. Uh, nothing really special about this guy, um, although I really do like the helmet uh, that they gave him. He only comes with um, one face print, um, but a very sort of generic looking minifigure. Uh, it's got a nice olive sort of um, shirt and pants, uh, some gray sort of sleeves. Um, he's probably an, an alien, uh, as he doesn't really look uh, like he's a human. Um, but that's a look at the uh, Resistance Ground Crew minifig. Alright, so the final minifig that this comes with is the Astromech BB-8 droid. Uh, such a really cool character that they came up with. I really like the concept of the BB-8 um, sort of like Astromech droid. Uh, the way that his sort of circular body uh, moves independently um, from his head and his head just basically stays up there um, is a really cool concept. Um, this minifig basically looks like the actual BB-8 Astromech droid, um, which I really like. Okay guys, so this is a look at Poe Dameron's X-Wing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Show your support by hitting that like button. Tell your friends about this channel. And again, thanks for watching guys.